Oh, man. Wow. Roofing. Mm. And I wasn't, I didn't do, roo I, I was the grunt. And I used to just bring the, the shit up to him. I was a redhead out in the fucking sun in July on a fucking roof. And I remember the first job I had looking over the, over the fence, these fucking good looking people, like Instagram looking people before Instagram. And they were just lounging at a pool, just looking up at us. And I was just thinking like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Living, you was living. No, that was working. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that job so much. Do you know I just left? I didn't even go back and pick up a paycheck. Wow. I just wasn't meant to do it. Do you know there was this fucking guy who worked there? He had these jeans on, right? Yeah. And I had a giant hole here, and I would never wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. I remember one time. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't be up at work like that. But, <laughs> bro. You meet the slug over to the hole. Oh. He must have an apron or something oh. on covering it up. He just no way. Come on. We, like, we got to hear the rest of this story. Let you know me that this. apron is? Ball hair. Uh-uh. That is horrible. I was sitting there picking up these fucking tiles, and this dude stepped over some shit, and the, the hole moved. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Flashed his fucking junk. <laughs> Those are my two memories from that. That dude. <laughs> Nobody want to see that. See all that at your job. Nobody want to see Look that. Look at his new face. <laughs> oh. Horrible. Ooh. Junk and those people sitting by the pool. Yeah, that job was worth putting. Yeah, so I didn't want to go back. Maybe that's why I didn't go back. That's a great reason not to. No, I wasn't good at confrontation. Then. <laughs> I thought he was going to get mad that I didn't want to do a job where I was going to get sunburned and look at some guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much of a people pleaser I was back then. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> if you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? <sighs> and you're the star. The Matrix, Trinity. Sharky's Machine. For real? Yeah, Burt Reynolds. You like Burt Reynolds like I mean, that? I also think Sharky's Machine would no, make people go Hulu, back and I mean, see the original. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was really sad when Burt Reynolds died. Me too. Because that was uh, that was a guy like there's not going to be another guy like that coming that good looking a guy with that great a sense of humor, and then to be able to live the life that he lived. He lived it. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, that's a good one. You know what it would be? When I'm, when I'm second in line to make a left <laughs> and the person doesn't pull up to get out in the intersection and make sure I make it, my superpower would be that I could mentally move them out into the intersection. And if they gave me the finger, I would slowly slide them into oncoming traffic. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't make that hit because that's an innocent person over there. So everybody else's superpower is like a uh, uh, Marvel character. Your shit is like a villain. They're lying to you. They're, they're, everybody's pretending that they care. They don't. If you really listen to people, what they care about is what affects them. True. Nobody gives a shit about the eight-year-old who made this jacket. Do I? Do I write him and say thank you for selling this together? No. I'm out there trying to get Grecian formula to make some shit for redheads. Say that, that. Is, that, is my, that is my cause. He said, do you want to talk to the person wearing the jacket? I appreciate you. He said, you're the first villain. Now I had on the show. This is the part of the show where we call it finish the sentence. I'm going to start it and you finish it. I always wake up. I always wake up uh, and do shit. <laughs> if I could work I with, every day off. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd want to work with. I don't, I don't want to work. I want to be home. Um, if I could... I've been traveling too much. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, you know what, dead or alive, I would do a set in front of Richard Pryor and all I would want him to say was, hey, funny stuff. That's it. I wouldn't want to bother the guy. I would just want him to acknowledge that he watched and on some level, That's cool. he thought it was humorous. This one time on tour. Okay, Aliza, that's a tough one. This one time on tour, I was with Charlie Murphy. We'll go back to that. Uh oh. <clears throat> and uh, this kid at the Tempe Improv, was also into martial arts and thought that his style was superior to Charlie's. And Charlie said that it wasn't. 
and they had a little kung fu match <laughs> in, in the fucking, <laughs> in the fucking, right, right, you know, we had the black and white tiles. <laughs> and I remember Charlie was twisting up so bad, he wasn't even looking at the guy. He was just looking over at me, smiling <laughs> the whole time he was doing it. And he just, I just remember somehow we had turned the kid around where he was behind him and his, his arms were all up in his face and Charlie was just laughing. And Charlie had this laugh, ah, 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 ah. So was humiliated. And I remember I wanted to laugh, but I was just like, well, I don't know karate either. So even though that kid's losing, <laughs> he Charlie yeah, leaves, yeah, he'll, he'll kick my ass, so yeah. If I wasn't a boss, I'd be a... If I wasn't a boss, oh my God, I would be a failure because I wouldn't have gone after what I wanted and I would be working for somebody else. Oh. And uh, I'd be a drunk. Tired of that. Mm. Not tired. I'm, <laughs> I'm grateful, but it's time to move into that phase. I got you. <clears throat> I would be big, round, and orange, just sitting, big, wouldn't be round sitting and here. Orange. My favorite <laughs> position is. Uh, doggy style. You're so nasty. I, I, I just can't deal with the intimacy, you know? I don't know who I am as a person yet, and when somebody looks at me Stop during it. that time. I, <laughs> please. I can't look at him yet. I haven't accepted the intimacy uh -uh. when they look at me ahead of Stop it. I feel like it's, I it's exposing it. too much. I was talking about your position on the basketball court. <laughs> uh, I don't play basketball. Okay. I was, more, I was more of a hockey guy. Okay. I played defense. I love it. Give it that hard, D. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Bill Burr, and I'm a... Comedian. A damn good one at that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for my favorite, your favorite, the one and only Bill Burr. Thank you for stopping by, Thank Bill. you. Thank it's you. been real in the field. Until we meet again, Bill, let them know where they can see you at and what you got coming up. Uh, I don't, when, when does this air? <laughs> Tomorrow. To, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> and where can they see that show, F is for Family, in case they don't know? On Netflix. Season one, two, and three streaming right now. That's hard. That's F hard. is for Family. That's hard. F, F is for you. Fuck You in my book. There you go. F is for Family. That was hard. Yeah, that was I hard. really, really like that. Oh my gosh, this was really, really good. <laughs> That's bullshit. Doggy style, because I can't deal with the intimacy. <laughs> This concept this was good. I really enjoyed it. I really no, did. the construction worker that had the hole in his pants. He said the hole <laughs> turn. I'm gonna ask what your what your favorite <laughs> was. Was it that one? It must have been that one. Yeah, that was. I'm trying to think what else I like. I mean, I know this is like an interview. <laughs> And that would have moved me too. I'm like, who would have wanted to see that, right? As a woman, and you were out there in construction, and you saw that. I mean, still. Girl, I don't want to see all that. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Come on now. I don't want to see all that. We need you to tighten that up, please. Wow. All right. Now I enjoyed that. I <laughs> really too. enjoyed that. Me I too. really enjoyed that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Man, I hate why I don't know why Snoop don't have that show running. I'm gonna ask you about that, good. so it's not anymore. No, he had like a you know bunch of big names up there, and then he then he stopped. I don't know why he stopped. Okay. Yeah. I got you. But that was good, man. If y'all want us to do some more of those GGNs, man, let us know. We'll go back and do some other um, people on there. I know he has Red Man Method, Schoolboy, Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage was the last one that I saw. Um, so if y'all want to see us do more of those, let us know, drop down below. Or, we'll see how y'all like with these, because we're going to split them in two parts, because 30 minutes is just like too long, y'all sitting there staring at it. Right. Um, yeah. We're going to split them in two parts, if y'all like it, then we'll do more of them. Yeah, this was really good. Yeah. yeah. I learned you know, everything, some things about Bill, you know, brother that I didn't know. Yeah. So it's quite interesting. And I was going to say too earlier that it's amazing just how... Comedy is so, I mean, I know it's a form of entertainment, but it's just like, you know, acting, it's yeah. kind of like, you know, music, you gotta go through certain things before you get, you know, as you continue to grow and build on each level. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. <clears throat> All right, y'all. That was, um, that was Snoop and Bill Burr on, on GGN Talk Network. We'll see y'all on the next one, man. Yeah. Don't have your junk out.